Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So as promised, I have my Ipsy Glam Bag and my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus uh, unboxing to do for you guys. Now I did already unbox October's uh, Ipsy uh, Glam Bag and Glam Bag Plus that they sent to me. So if you guys would like to check that out, I will have that link down below for you. Um, but yeah, I bought these with my money. So let's see if these are just as good. Starting with the small one, um, if you guys haven't seen yet, this is the bag right here. It's got the little uh, vampire mouth. It's super cute. The bag has the little green tab. Oh, sorry. The little green tab that looks like lipstick. I love the details on this. Um, so obviously I will be giving one as a giveaway since I have two. And, okay, let's dive right in. The first item we have is a full size Lottie London Wing Woman Liner. Nice. I don't think I've tried a liner from them, so that's actually pretty exciting, and I like the fact that it's not even a mini. It is a full-size liner, so that's a plus. Okay, so these, this is cruelty-free and vegan, and this is what the tip of the liner looks like. Just your regular felt tip eyeliner. I do like that it has a nice little point to it. Wow, that went on really smooth. So, that's what it looks like there. I'm going to let it dry for a second, and then we'll do it, the rub test that I like to do. Scrub my hand. Okay, so moving on, we have, what is this? The Real Her Not Your Average Power Wear Blush. Oops. Ooh, that's really pretty. Oh, that is so up my alley. I love like a, a neutral kind of blush. That is absolutely stunning. Oh, I might have to keep this. <laughs> I don't know, that's just so gorgeous. Yeah, and it does look like a full size blush as well. So that's pretty awesome. All right, so this has got to be dry by now. Okay, it's definitely coming off pretty easily. So probably not like long wearing and it's smeared. So eh, I still have other ways that I could use this. So it's not a total loss. Um, I do, if I need a long wear mascara, I do have plenty to choose from. So, um, this will still be fun, maybe on the days that I need to like practice a wing, which I can't do. <laughs> so obviously if I want to can practice like kind of over and over again, this is something that I would definitely need. Moving on, this is what? Shades by Shan. This is the Majorie. Mm. Oh, that's really, really pretty. I think I got this in my glam bag from Ipsy that they sent me. It is, looks like to be a full-size highlighter. Very gorgeous. Um, my giveaway bag is like so full. It is overflowing. I probably want to do a little mini giveaway for November. I think we're going to do that. That would be like a little Thanksgiving giveaway and then I'll start my uh, Christmas giveaway at the end of November, but uh, that should be part of that. The next item we have is from uh, Farah. This is the Tiffany lipstick. So it looks like the same shade that I got in the other bag as well. So this will go towards a giveaway. And last but not least, <laughs> sorry, I love Tatcha products. They're super expensive, so I don't necessarily go out and buy them. So anytime I get a Tatcha product in Ipsy or BoxyCharm or whatever, I am over the moon. So I actually got this in my glam bag uh, that they sent me as well. So I have two of them, which makes me <laughs> happy. <laughs> this is the Dewy Skin Cream. Ah, yes, this is going straight in my, I love that, straight into my, um, my bathroom so I can use this every day. 
And yeah, that is it for the Ipsy Glam bag. So all in all, I think this is a pretty decent bag. Um, I have full size products in my hand, minus a little Tatcha, but it's Tatcha. <laughs> um, yeah, I think they did really good and everything is right up my alley. So very happy with my glam bag this month. Moving on, we have our glam bag plus. So ooh, I like what I see so far. So this is what the glam bag plus looks like. It's just like the little mini bag, but it's a drawstring. Super cute. And the first item we have, it was kind of popping out. So this is what made me excited. We have the uh, Makeup Blender Trio from, I'm not even gonna try and murder that name. It's right there. <laughs> uh, I can always use more makeup sponges. So this makes me happy. And the fact that there are three in here, hello. Ooh. Oh, they feel really good. So this one is a little bit different shaped, I notice. So I got two of the regular sponges and then I have one that has this little like side to it. So that would be really good for like underneath my eye. Nice. Those will definitely get used. Okay, moving on. This is the Wonder Beauty Staycation Hydration Mask. I actually just went through some drawers and um, I'm pretty stocked on masks so I probably won't keep this. Uh, this is what it looks like right here. But if I needed a mask, a hydrating mask would definitely fit the bill. So that is a good one. Okay, we got three items left and huge. What is this? This is the Araceli gel pencil eyeliners nice okay so we got two shades in rose gold and black i actually really like the araceli eyeliners um so these i am keeping Ooh, that's so pretty so we have your typical black and the rose gold i actually want to swatch this one Ooh, that's pretty can you see yeah. Oh yeah. Keeping those. <laughs> uh, we have the Fizzy Art palette. So I did already receive this in my previous Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. It is a gorgeous palette. Very neutral, very fallish. So let me go ahead and grab the one that I already opened. Ooh, sorry. So this one is mine and this is what the palette looks like. It's so pretty. I love the colors. Um, perfect for travel if you get to do that anytime soon. And uh, yeah, I really enjoyed this one. So this will be in a future giveaway. And last but not least, what do we have here? We have the Posh powder palette from Douse Deuce, whatever the name is. I'm actually not a big fan of this brand. Um, they haven't really came out with like too many products that I like or enjoy, so I usually end up passing them. But oh, that's actually really pretty. Nice. So it looks like we got highlighters, um, blushes, and no, nope, those aren't bronzers. So highlighters and blushes. Those are actually really pretty colors. Very neutral. Right up my alley. Hmm. But, like I said, I just went through my drawers and I have a lot of blushes. And some that I haven't used in quite a while that I need to dig back through. So... The one item that actually I think I would enjoy, I'm going to go ahead and give away. So, 
a quick recap of the Glam Bag Plus. We have the Blush and Highlighter Palette. We have the Vizier Eyeshadow Palette. We have the Eyeliners, um, the Wonder Beauty Hydrating Mask, and the Beauty Blenders. Actually, this was a pretty good bag. Um, Viseart, super, super expensive. Makeup sponges, I'm definitely gonna use a set of three. That's awesome. Eyeliners, I love some, I love Araceli's eyeliners. I, I got two as one product, that's awesome. The hydrating mask is right up my alley for my skincare needs. And the blush palette, blush and highlighter palette, it actually looks really nice. So all in all, I think this is a really good bag. All right, so for my Ipsy Glam Bag and Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, PR versus paid. I would say they're actually both pretty good. They both had the Viseart, they both had the Tatcha, and they both have really good products, and I got a lot of full-size products in my paid bags, so I still think it's completely worth it. I love Ipsy, and uh, yeah, we will continue to see what they have. So I can't wait to see what I get next month, but uh, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like this video, please give me a big ol' thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.